Okay. Uh, the afternoon session is in, always interesting. Uh, people at the back can gently fall asleep. And uh, we'll try and keep the lights bright and give points to those who stay awake. <laughs> okay. Uh, very quickly, uh, keeping in view with mass media, I'm going to try and go fast on this. Uh, mass media is, you know, where I, I was back home for the last one week on a holiday in Chandigarh. My mother gave me these books I studied in management saying, what do you want me to do with them? Keep them or throw them away. And one of them was this book on advertising, which uh, the first print of which was done in 1990. And uh, interestingly, it had in it a uh, definition of mass media, which has communicating a single message to a large number of people at the flick of a switch. The only medias that were discussed in it was TV, print, radio, outdoor, direct mail, yellow pages. The there was one line, there was one graph in it which I found extremely interesting, which was a prediction that said that by the year 2000, there would be 16 million discs slash VCRs in the world. Right? That's, that's how people saw, and this was, 2000, this was 1985 to 2000, 15 years. We all know what the world looked like in 2000, we know what it looks like now in 2008. So people who look, today when we look forward, pretty much in the same fashion, 10 years out, you know, each one of us is really, really looking very, very deep into the crystal ball and trying to figure what really will happen. But lastly, let's look at the, the mass media landscape and basically consumers are impacting what's happening in the mass media space and the consumer himself is impacted by the mass media in what he wants and gets. So the content, the delivery, the advertiser, technology, the environment and the regulation all surround and play this continuous interweaving of uh, activity that happens between them and really decides where the market is going to go. You know, the environment is something that we, I'm going to take a few seconds on uh, only because enough has been said about it. You can read the link and tell you all about it next to you. The, you know, the markets were booming till recently. Still there's a huge amount of funding available. This is the best time to be an entrepreneur if you ever wanted to be one. You know, the technology is evolving, the media entertainment options are going up dramatically and there's huge pressure on consumers' time. I think the most valuable product today is time. How do you, what it takes a lot to capture the audiences or the consumers' time and attention. Let's talk about the consumer. Now, you know, again, very common things have been said about the consumer which is language, geography, we are a diverse country and I'm largely talking about India now. You know, many languages, we have spread all over the world, country, you know, each person every hundred miles changes, color, you know, your, from the color of your skin to your clothing, your eating, your talking, everything changes. The audience is much younger, it's far more mobile, it's far more informed than we ever were in the past. And we're extremely comfortable with technology today. But that's really one single lens of looking at the whole of India. Let's talk about a slightly different view of looking at it. And I've taken a slide from uh, an esteemed colleague uh, sometime who presented some time back, but I've, it was an international slide and I've tried to Indianize it. Let's talk about when you were born, what you got for reward for good behavior when you were a kid, what was the media exposure you had, what was your desired birthday present, what got taken away for bad behavior, and what was your desired friendship point, per touch point. If you were pre-1970, I don't know how many of you are there in this room, uh, your most expected thing was I got a toffee if I did well. Dinaka Geet Mala was what they grew up with. Uh, toys invariably were things that they wanted. You got sent to bed early, basically some part of your freedom got taken away. And your desired touch point was a letter. You know, there was a concept which most of you will be completely alien to called pen pals. 